Hey there to all my listeners tuning in today, podcasting from Ontario, California. Welcome to Fractured Poet, a podcast for all of you poetically insane individuals who love getting lost in the art of poetry. I am your host, Katrina Wisniewski, just another person in the world obsessed with words, striving to make sense of it all. I want to start off this episode with a little background about how poetry wiggled its way into my life. It started off as a bittersweet experience that eventually turned into a daily routine and later on an obsession. I have to admit, I did not know a lot about poetry. I didn't understand it and I didn't really like it either. So when poetry entered my life, I was a freshman in high school. I recall having a homework assignment in my English class that required the class to write their own poem. And at the time, we were reading a collection of poems written by Edgar Allan Poe, one of them being Tall Tale Heart. And for those of you that have read any of Poe's work, you know that some of his poems tend to be a little bit overwhelming and confusing at some point. So you can imagine my response when I was given this assignment. I mean, to write a poem of my own after reading Edgar Allan Poe, I was slightly intimidated to say the least. I was not what you would call thrilled. But I knew I had to do the assignment. It was just a matter of how to tackle it. And if I wanted to pass the class and actually get a grade on this assignment, I had to get it done. So I remember approaching my mom and asking for her advice on how in the hell am I supposed to create a poem? And being a student herself at the time, she has also had assignments where she has had to create and write her own poem. And I was hoping for some guidance in that department. And one thing led to another, and I haven't stopped writing poetry since. So let me give you a breakdown of what this podcast is going to be about. I am obviously going to share poems and they're going to be poems that I have written personally. And I would love to share my poems with like-minded individuals that appreciate the art of poetry like I do. I will end up choosing a couple of poems to read each episode and explain the meaning behind each poem if possible and what my thoughts were during the creating process. And with that being said, I would like to read the first poem of the first episode, a poem called A Poet's Crypt Name. I often find myself in a daze, contemplating my poetic entry, leaving me to question my abilities. The words that seem to invade my thoughts are like puzzles, begging to be put together, strategically placing each piece in its place, hoping it fits. However, the mind of a poet can be quite complex and a bit over the top. We perceive the world through life's words, utilizing them where we deem suitable. You see, the phrases we create can sometimes take hours, no, days, to master. It's almost as if the words we choose mock us as it generates a form of insanity. We, the poet, then believe that these words or phrases hold some kind of power, controlling the outcome and leaving us with no other alternative. We then erase all that is familiar just to start and rebuild. These thoughts of mine are often compromised. All of these words, so many words. How will I make it stop? It's funny. I have a few poems that talk about frustrating moments, being a poet, or the frustrations that were experienced while writing a poem. There have been many times where I start to believe that writing poetry is more of a chore than a passion. And I only say that because writing poetry can sometimes be 
a massive pain in the ass, especially when you have the urge to write one, but nothing comes out. And when you finally come up with something, everything sounds totally wrong. And after making so many attempts, erasing, deleting, crossing out, you just have to walk away and try again on a different day. Poetry is a tricky, tricky thing to accomplish. So the next one I'm going to recite is called Despising You. Contagious with your speeches, so full of crap, it pollutes the air. Walking around, acting like nothing phases you. You are a piece of shit. How dare you? Strutting around like you are the man. Your motive sickens me. Please go to hell. I catch the day when you are not around. Feels so good. It's about damn time. Doing what I want, when I want. Parading around in my skull-infested t-shirts and drinking OJ out of the carton. Sick of your cryptic conversations, in one ear and out the other. Continuing to talk in circles. Bumming off of what is familiar. Getting a free ride. Is this how you live your life? And I think my listeners can kind of gather what mood I was in when I wrote this poem. Although I'm not really sure if this was aimed at anyone in particular. I do remember, though, that during this time I was taking a poetry class that allowed me to explore the different styles and formats of poetry. And I, I love that class because it was very enlightening. The professor that taught the class was a poet herself, a British poet, actually. Her name was Jennifer Olds, O-L-D-S. She was a very unique professor. She actually was the person who pulled some strings with the community college I was attending and provided her students the opportunity to publish our poetry in a book called Verses and Curses. I believe I had two poems in that book. So after taking that class, my eyes were open to a whole different perspective of poetry. My mindset on poetry was different than what it was prior to taking taking the class. And I learned to grow and expand on my knowledge with poetry. And even today, I'm still learning more and more every day. And it has definitely become an obsession of mine. So anytime I get a chance, if I'm busy, I'm dropping what I'm doing and writing, whether it's a simple phrase, just to come back to it later and it'll create a poem. And that actually concludes the first episode. So to those of you who tuned in, I hope you liked what you heard and tune in next time. You can catch this and further episodes at anchor FM forward slash fractured poet. Actually, it's anchor dot FM forward slash fractured poet. I apologize. This episode of Fractured Poet was written and produced by me, Katrina Wisniewski. Music by Alternative Rock Volume 1 from a website called freeplaymusic.com. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Fractured Poet. And as always, thanks for listening. And until next time.